King Charles plots mega environmental overhaul at palace, including huge change to Bentleys. King Charles III has been a lifelong advocate for the environment and has campaigned to find solutions to the climate emergency as well as climate change across the world. King Charles III has planned a huge overhaul at the palace, including converting his Bentleys, in a bid to meet the challenge of climate change. The King's state Bentleys are being converted to run on biofuel within the next year. The palace could also switch to a fleet of official electric cars in the future in a bid to go green. It is a nod to the King's sustainable credentials with the monarch having already remarked he runs his Aston Martin on surplus English white wine and whey from the cheese process. Meanwhile, he has also introduced solar panels to Windsor Castle for the first time. Gas lanterns at Buckingham Palace, which were switched off during the recent energy crisis as a cost-saving measure are also being repurposed with special designed electrical fittings. This is expected to improve their energy efficacy while also preserving their historic look and glow. The King is a lifelong environmentalist who admitted last year that he was becoming a frustrated old man with his attitudes toward the global climate emergency. He said the world must rely on the younger generation if it wanted to avert an environmental catastrophe in the next few years. Last year, during a visit to Hamburg, Germany, he said, talking to German President Frank Walter Steinmeier, Charles said. I'm becoming a frustrated old man. It all seems obvious to me. The younger generation know, certainly. Charles also addressed world leaders at the World Climate Action Summit at COP28 in Dubai last year. There he called for action on global warming and climate change. He warned the world remained dreadfully far off track in key climate targets. Charles then said he believed the gathering would be a critical turning point towards genuine transformational action. In his address, the King said, I pray with all my heart that COP28 will be another critical turning point towards genuine transformational action at a time when Already, as scientists have been warning for so long, we are seeing alarming tipping points being reached. Despite all the attention, there is 30% more carbon dioxide in the atmosphere now than there was back then and almost 40% more methane. Some important progress has been made, but it worries me greatly that we remain so dreadfully far off track as the Global Stock Take report demonstrates so graphically. The dangers are no longer distant risks. X. I have seen across the Commonwealth, and beyond countless communities which are unable to withstand repeated shocks whose lives and livelihoods are laid waste by climate change. Surely, real action is required to stem the growing toll of its most vulnerable victims.